the mm. beginning, you, you, you chartered? Didn't have one. Next question. On Monday and Tuesday night on BBC One, it was the start of new four-part series, The Reckoning. It traces the life of Jimmy Savile, a man who for decades was one of the UK's most influential celebrities, and so but in death has become one of the most reviled figures of modern history, following revelations of extensive and horrific abuse. One particularly good aspect of the reckoning that I found was seeing and hearing from the victims of Savile, their childhoods eternally blighted by him. Huge respect for the courage that they showed. It was very uncomfortable in places, but so compelling that I actually just had to keep going despite on numerous occasions, fighting back the tears. Morning, ladies. Many of you singled out Steve Coogan's performance. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Well, I was all right, so I saw you, now I've got temperature. Mm -hmm. The voice is terrifying, it's so real. That slightly haltering cadence, the accent. Big girl, don't cry, eh? Jimmy Savile was alive again on TV, and my flesh absolutely crept. Personally? I wouldn't touch him with a barge pole. Professor of Feminist Media Studies Karen Boyle found some problems with the series. It's a very well-acted drama. It's very slick. But I think it misses the mark in some fairly crucial respects. One of the survivors says really, really powerfully and poignantly, don't let this ever happen again, please but I don't actually think the drama contributes anything to making sure that doesn't happen again. When I heard it died, you know what? I think I was actually pleased that that horrible specimen was dead. But then on the other hand, I also thought, he's got away with it. We took your comments to the programme makers. It wasn't made as a piece of entertainment. It was made um, as, as something which will allow us to look at how this thing happened, how this man was invited into all of our homes and how we didn't look hard enough and he was able to do the things that he did throughout his life with impunity.